What's up everyone? This is Josh with a quick security short for you today. We're gonna to be talking briefly about social engineering and two ways, which are really sort of one way, that you can prevent yourself from being the victim of a social engineering scam. Social engineering is, in summary, the practice of breaking people rather than directly breaking uh, digital systems in order for a scammer or thief to get something that they want from you. And there's a couple different ways that you can sort of prevent yourself from immediately falling victim to this type of scam. The first is stopping and asking yourself if something is too good to be true. I see this most often with flavors of the cryptocurrency investment scam, where somebody on Instagram or LinkedIn contacts you with a can't miss investment opportunity with really great rates of return. They often claim they have a sophisticating, uh, sophisticated trading system that if you send some money to their platform, they'll get you over 100% rate of return in just a couple days. Now this is of course not real. And one of the ways that you can spot the fact that this rate of return is too good to be true is just stopping and asking yourself why they need you. If somebody had a legitimate way to make 100% rate of return in three days of trading, why would they be wasting their time contacting you on Instagram rather than just putting their own money in it and making bank? They want you to act quickly. They want you to start sending them money excited about this opportunity before you have time to realize that it's fake. Now, the second thing that you can spot, which is kind of similar to the first, is asking yourself, is this person trying to get me to act with extreme urgency? I see this most commonly with phishing attempts. I get all kinds of email that says, if I don't immediately verify my exchange credentials or my seed phrase for a wallet that I don't even use, uh, that my account will be shut down or my funds will be seized or something to that effect. I won't be able to use this wallet anymore. Now, this is pressing me right out of the gate to act quickly, to say, I have a problem right now that I need to rectify or I'm going to lose my crypto account. So it never hurts to pause and think, is this email, is this person that I'm talking to trying to get me to act quickly? A scammer wants you to part with your private credentials or your money before you have time to realize that something is up. That plays to their advantage and that's how they use your humanity, your desire to get something done quickly or earn money quickly uh, to their advantage. But on the flip side, very, very rarely will taking time to stop and think negatively affect your security. No legitimate exchange or wallet software is going to kick you out on 24 hour notice. So you can take your time to think about whether or not you want to take any action, whether you even have any money in this particular exchange or wallet that you would need to get out if they're shutting down. So I said in the beginning, these both are very similar. And I think both of these quick tips boil down to really the same thing. Take time to stop and think. If somebody's trying to get money out of you, if somebody's trying to get private credentials out of you, they want you to act fast. So don't play to their advantage. Step away from the situation. Step away from that person messaging you, who you should eventually block anyway. Step away from the email and go do something fun. Don't allow yourself to be rushed. And in that way, you can help prevent yourself from being the victim of social engineering without having to be tech savvy, without having to have a database of all these potential attacks like many of us that sort of study these things do. They just wanna prey on your humanity. So kick back, 
take some time to think, and spread awareness amongst your family and friends. I hope this quick tip has been useful to you. I hope you learned something new, and I hope this gives you some tidbits that you can share with your friends and family, no matter how uh, tech savvy they are or not tech savvy they are. As always, thanks for learning something new with me today.